such as well. But Psalm 124, uh, verses 1 and 2 here is uh, kind of the key verses, if you please. It's actually verses 1 through one through 5, but uh, or 1 through 6. But, uh, but let, me, let me read verses 1 and 2 again for you. It says, For if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. And uh, I'm just going to, I, I titled this, and you can title it whatever, and think about it, but if it had not been for the Lord, if it had not been for the Lord. And uh, let's pray, and we'll get started. Lord, please help me now. I pray, Holy Spirit, I pray for your help, for your power. Give me guidance and direction. And help me, Lord, please, to give this truth that you've given here. Please bless, I pray, in Jesus' name, amen. I, I, uh, this is probably the more, the more times I read this psalm uh, and, and such is probably one of my favorite psalms uh, that, because this psalm truly has a truth here for uh, a person who is, for everybody, whether a person is saved or lost for anybody and such. So allow me this morning to give you a brief English lesson on the first five verses here. I, I honestly believe that uh, uh, I believe that uh, you know you it, when you compare the Bible with the Bible, you'll find there's no mistakes. Everything works out right, uh, and God's word is there for us to learn. But uh, and such and and in many times, um, you know, uh, the Bible is, is grammatically correct. It's, it is. It's just not many times it is. And so let me help you with this because it'll help you better understand a little bit more of what this truth is here. All right. Now, uh, if you look at the punctuation on the first five verses here, you'll find that uh, verse uh, verse one ends in a semicolon. All right. I don't know if you see that or not. And verses two, three, and four end a col end in a colon. All right. Now. If you look through their ver verses there, you do not see a period which would mark the end of a sentence until the end of verse number five. Everybody see that, all right? So verses one through five basically deal with uh, basically the uh, one main thought, all right, and such. Now, when you have a colon, you see a colon, the general rule is you have a statement and then the colon and, and it's followed by information and such about the statement. So you will see here three colons uh, there, there, and they're all followed by the signal word then, okay? So if you see there, the then. So, so in order to find out the, the, the main thought behind this sentence, what we have to do is go back before the colons, okay? And uh, which is verses one and two, and they are both linked together with a semicolon, all right, uh, and such. So the psalmist makes one statement twice here in these two verses that I believe is key to figuring out what the truth is that God is want, wants for us and, and such. He says twice here this. He said, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. You see that? Twice he said that. Now, each of these times were followed by a different statement. Okay. The first time he says it was followed by now may Israel say, okay, the second time it was followed by when men rose up against us. All right. So, so you follow me so far uh, in such, all right? Now, the psalmist then lists for us what would have happened to them if the Lord had not been on their side. Okay. So, uh, so let's look here, here uh, in stuff is, is so if the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose up against us, uh, then look at verse number three, uh, then they would have swallowed us up quick. All right. So the psalmist is saying, you know what? If the Lord had not been on our side, when they rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up quick. All right. That would be like, uh, uh, you know, the earth uh, uh, swallowing up uh, uh, the rebels was it Korah, I think, and, and, and such. Uh, and quickly swallowed them up. The earth would have swallowed them up. They said, you know what? David is saying, you know what? If the Lord had not been on our side, uh, the, uh, then, then uh, there are, our enemies would have swallowed us up uh, quickly. Then he says, if the Lord had not been on our side, when their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. It would be like a, uh, uh, like a flash flood. It would be like uh, 
uh, you know, uh, water's coming in. If anybody's ever been around true flash floods, we don't we don't get a lot of true flash floods around here and such. But if you go to, down into uh, like Louisiana, Shreveport, and some of those places like that, uh, in things, I mean, they they literally have really in the cities. I'm talking about in the cities, real flash floods. I mean, it is it's scary, uh, and water can just sweep you away. And and we've seen pictures of it down in uh, that's happened in the last couple of weeks down in Louisiana and, and all that stuff. That's real flash floods. That's the water that will just sweep you away uh, and such. Um, and it says. Uh, uh, the stream would have gone over our soul then the proud waters would have gone over our soul so uh, so he's saying here you know what if the Lord had not been with us if the Lord had not been on our side uh, we would have we would have uh, uh, we would have been swallowed up quickly by our enemies we would have uh, uh, oh uh, people whose wrath were kindled against us would have taken us and and uh, like water would would uh, take and overwhelm us and such uh, and, and things and and so the psalmist here is 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 is, is uh, uh, he's really being thankful and showing how much uh, uh, he appreciates the fact that the Lord was on his side how much he appreciates the fact that of where and, and even where he would have been and where Israel would have been if they did not have the Lord on their side and he does it so much and he and he gets excited about it to where you see what happens in verse number six look what look what happens after he thinks about all the stuff that, that that could have been that could have happened if the lord had not been on their side all the things that could have happened to him and the children of israel if god had not been on their side and look at verse number six after he thinks about that look what he says here he said blessed be the lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth so in other words he's saying look what a blessing it is what a blessing uh, in such what a, what what uh, and, and, and he, he really is realizing here where they would have been if the Lord had not been on their side uh, and such. And this is a great truth for us to understand uh, in such. And so I got to thinking about this this week and meditating on it this week. And, and, and that statement, if the Lord, uh, you know, had not been uh, on my side, where would I be? If the Lord uh, had not been on my side, where would I be today? And I got to thinking about it myself and, and allow me, if you would, just to share a little bit of my thoughts on this this morning. And I think maybe it'll trigger some things for yourself as well. But I know if the Lord had not been on my side, I would probably be lost today. No doubt in my mind. I would be on my way, uh, uh, you know, uh, to hell uh, when I died uh, today uh, and such, uh, if the Lord had not been on my side. I did not get saved until I was 20 years old. I, I didn't want to have anything to do with church and such. Uh, but I, my cousins had prayed for me and, and it was burdened for me and, 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 and such and, and told me about the Lord. But the truth of the matter is, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably still be lost today if the Lord had not been on my side. I got to thinking about it. Uh, and things and and you know the fact that he saved me uh, and, and pulled me away from the stuff that I was doing if the Lord had not been on my side I probably would have been dead today I probably would have been dead today um, I, 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 I did some things before I was saved and like I said I didn't get saved till I was 20 years old and uh, uh, I ran with the old crowd the older kids and the older crowd and such and I did what they did uh, and that sort of thing and I did some things that, uh, that, uh, that 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 should have gotten me killed. I should have died. I I I, I bowled in, a, in in two bowling leagues. One 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 uh, t uh, on uh, one side of town. The other on the other side of town. And and I remember one night I went in there and I started uh, drinking vodka and squirt and uh, one one league and drank that all through the whole three games and and uh, and such. And uh, and then I went to uh, the, over the other side of town. And started drinking uh, a beer and, and stuff and just t chugging it down. I remember I went, I, I, I got home and I don't remember even driving home or anything like that. But uh, I, I, we were, our bedroom was, were upstairs and there was no heat or anything. It was cold. And so we would wrap ourselves up in things like a cocoon and such uh, in our bedrooms and things. And I, I, I laid up there and I threw up all night and, and such. And why I did not drown in my own vomit, I don't know. 
But for some reason, I know why the Lord was on my side and I turned over uh, and such. But I, I, I should have drowned in my vomit. I remember another time where we were play, uh, I was playing, uh, we were having a, a, a card poker game uh, and such. And, and, uh, and it was getting towards the end and, and uh, some people decided that they were going to uh, have, wanted me to, uh, to have a contest and chug, chug some uh, bottles of beer. And and so I chugged one and, and I went into the uh, go uh, out of the other room for for a minute and uh, when I didn't know was is they would empty half the bottle and put the key in it and uh, so uh, so then they came back I came back in and they said oh you know you got to do it again do it again do it and I did that two or three times and uh, um, again uh, they had to they had to drive me home they dropped me off in my driveway. And uh, there's bushes in front of my driveway. My brother was uh, uh, would always come home uh, in a in a drunken stupor and everything else, and he would pull up all the way up into there and stuff. But that night, I passed out there, no one knew it. And right where my brother would drive up, my brother uh, drove up, and for some reason, he stopped before uh, uh, before he would have ran over me uh, and things. And he never does that, but for some reason, he did. I should have been ran over that night. I could tell you other times where I should have died and things, but, and, but, but you know what? And I got to thinking, you know, thank God the Lord was on my side. Thank God God was on my side and things. I, I, I should have been, a, I was, I was a, a, a right, uh, beginnings of an alcoholic. Uh, you know, when I, when I got off work, I would go immediately home and start drinking. Uh, as soon as I got off work, I would start drinking every day and every day and every day. I was I was the beginning of al alcoholic, but thank God, uh, you know, uh, God was on my side, and I didn't, uh, uh, you know, and, and and He saved me from all those things and helped me get through those things and even drugs. I I, I got you know, I was into drugs and 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 that sort of thing and 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 uh, uh, and such. I could have, I, you know, I, that could have happened, but thank God that God was on my side. The Lord was on my side. I, I think, you know, I got to thinking about, you know, I could have been in jail. I should have been in jail. I should have been in jail. I remember one time uh, at school, at high school, we was in a shop class. And, and, uh, um, and uh, so uh, some, one of the kids wanted some, some marijuana. And, uh, and so I, 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 I sold marijuana and everything. And uh, so I said, well, you meet me in the, in the bathroom. So I, I got permission to go to the bathroom. And a few minutes later, he got permission and I, you know the shop, shop teacher was smart enough he knew kind of what was going on and stuff he was suspicious and and we just made the deal in the bathroom and i put my put the rest of it uh bag in, in my sock uh and such and was bent bent over and just put it in there in my pant over my my pant leg of uh, my sock when he walked in the bathroom the teacher i should have been arrested i i, I mean i that i was that close to uh uh, uh should have been going to jail uh in, in things and then uh, just 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 myself, my my uh, cantankerous self. Sometimes I, you know, I should have been married several times. I should have been married several times. I'm telling you, uh, I'm hard to get along with. I mean, sometimes my wife, I, my wife needs a medal. She needs a medal. I mean, she needs look, and that's that's after salvation. Man, I tell you what, before salvation, I would have, I'd have really, I'd have probably been married multiple times. And, and, and that, and, I mean, it would have been a mess uh, and things. And I mean, thank God she got me after I was saved. But uh, the truth of the matter is he gave me a, 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 a great woman who was faithful and, and, and such. And I praise God for that because she's had to put up an awful lot with me. I, I, you know, and I got to thinking about all that God has done. And I got to thinking about after all that in my life. And I'm thinking, you know, if the Lord had not been on my side during these times. Where would I be today? And then I started thinking, you know, praise the Lord. Praise God for what he's done for me. You know, it's easy to get and, and get down on things and, 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 and such that, that happenings and stuff in your life. But, you know, I think sometimes we got to get back and sit back and think, you know what? You know, thank God I've got the Lord on my side because of what he's done for me. Where would we be today if the Lord were not on our side? Now, I said that this morning to get all of us in here to ask yourselves that question. If the Lord had not been on my side, where would I be today? Ask it.
Think about it today. If the Lord had not been on my side, where would I be today? You know what? I don't care who you are or what you've done. The Lord is on your side. I don't care who it is. The Lord is on your side. Let me show you uh, uh, and, and prove it and, and such. So turn to John 3.16 if you would. Turn to John 3.16. John 3.16. Very familiar verse. Very famous verse. But we read it so many times. We hear it so many times. We really don't grasp many times. These first six words. For God so loved the what? What? The world. God so loved the world. Now, I hate to tell you this, folks, but he's not talking about the, the world itself as far as the earth. He so, he so loved the world. All of those in the world, saved or lost, he loved us all. Think about that. Think about that. Uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Saved or lost, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, uh, a person who is the, the most wicked, vile person in the world or the, uh, the person who, is, uh, who maybe is the most holy in the world, it doesn't make any difference. The person with the most money in the world or the poorest person in the world, it doesn't make any difference. The person that is the uh, uh, most, uh, uh, the, the best looking in the world or the person who's not the best looking in the world uh, and such. It doesn't make any difference who we are, where we come from. It doesn't make any difference about any of those things. God so loved us. He's on our side. He's on our side. Uh, turn to Romans 5. Turn to Romans chapter number 5. Verses 10 and 11. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. You realize that God, through Jesus Christ, has already reconciled with us? You know, when you think about reconciliation, you know, and we think about it when two people, to get two people back together, uh, both really have to reconcile. Both really have to reconcile uh, and such. If both want to have uh, that relationship back together, it requires both re uh, to reconcile. Both has to say, you know what, uh, you know what, I, 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 you know, I, I, I forgive and I, and I ask for your forgiveness. Uh, and that other person has to say, you know what, I, uh, I accept, I, I forgive, I ask for your forgiveness when it comes to this. But with God, God never had anything to forgive us for. I mean, he, we, he didn't do anything wrong. God was perfect. God gave us a perfect and put us in a perfect place and, and, and gave us a, the perfect environment and everything. And we chose to sin. We chose to break that fellowship with God through sin. But God in his perfect glove said, you know what? I am going to reconcile with them. I am going, I want to reconcile. I want to have that, that, that fellowship. I want to have that with them. And that's why he sent Jesus down to die for us. And when Jesus died on the cross and paid that sin debt, he reconciled with us. Now it's up to everybody else uh, to go to God and say, God, you know what? You've already taken and reconciled. You've already taken it all. God, I accept that reconciliation. I accept what your Savior did. I accept what your Son did. And when we accept Christ, we then are reconciling ourselves to God. So God is already and already been on our side. The Lord is on your side. The Lord is on your side. Look. I don't know what what you're going through today. I know there's you know people in here that are hurting, people in here are wondering, people in here uh, uh, are are hurting and 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 uh, 
uh, some things going on with people's lives that I can't, I'm not at liberty to talk about. But there are people in here that are hurting. There are people in here that are wondering, you know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here if I find this out? Or what's going to happen here uh, and such? May I tell you, no matter what you're going through, the Lord's on your side. No matter what you're going through, the Lord is on your side. You need to trust Him. You need to trust Him. You know, uh, no matter what you're facing, trust Him. If you get bad news, trust Him. I know my, my, my daughter-in-law's uncle was killed in a motorcycle accident last night. That's rough, folks. I remember my brother was killed. I remember getting the call. I remember heading towards the scene. And uh, not knowing if he, had, if he was dead or not yet. I remember getting the call when I got uh, almost, almost uh, halfway there saying uh, that, that he was dead. I remember the feeling of that. I remember how, how and, and I don't know if my brother was saved. And that, I mean, it was rough. And I remember my mom calling because they had called her and, 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 and such and telling me and, and such and how, uh, you know, how it was for her and how broken hearted she was and such. And I tell you, God is still on your side. He's on your side. No matter what you're going through, he's on your side. No matter what you might be facing, he's on your side. You just got to trust him. You just got to think of this psalm here. If the Lord had not been on my side, where would I be when these things happened? Where would I be when those things went on in my life? If the Lord had not been on my side. Think about this. If he's for you and he is. Who can be against you? Think about it. If God is for you and he is, who can be against you? I think sometimes this old world tends to get us down. I think sometimes this old world tends to knock us down and Satan tends to knock us down and, 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 and such and, and, and things. And I think sometimes we tend to focus too much on those things. I think when that happens, you feel like you're getting overwhelmed. I think you need to turn to this psalm. I think you need to just turn to this psalm and read those first five verses over and over again. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have been overwhelmed. The floodwaters would have overtaken us. If the Lord had not been on our side, where would you be today? Let's take time today and this week. Let's take time to reflect of how good God has been to us. And the fact that God is on your side. No matter what kind of news you might get this week. No matter what, kind of, what might happen this week. When it happens, you've got to go back and say, you know what? Thank God I've got God on my side. Thank God I've got God on my side. No matter what I'm facing, thank God I've got him on my side. The doctors say this, you know what? That's just a doctor. To be honest with you, they really don't know anything. I don't mean that in a bad way, but they don't because God knows it all. All they could go by is numbers. All they can go by is history. You know what? They, they can't take and they, they can't figure out. They, they, there's no way they can put God in it. There's no way. But when you add God to the mix, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And I just got to thinking this week about this. And I just wanted you to just want you to this week meditate on this i want you to take and read that psalm over and over again this week every day i challenge you to read that psalm. every morning read that and read those verses those first five verses and i promise you when you meditate on that and you start reading that and you meditate on that you get to a point when you're like and you start thinking about wow you know what if god had not been on my side where would i be 
I promise you, you will go and you will be the same as what the psalmist did in verse number six. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. I would not be, don't know what, would, where I'd be right now. If the Lord had not been on my side all these years. The Lord is on your side. And let's pray. Lord, I pray you please just bless us today. Lord, we all go through difficult times, trying times, times of uncertainty. Lord, may we during these times, may we run to you and to your word. May this psalm right here, Lord, be one that we run to, Psalm 124. May we run to this and realize all that happened to the children of Israel. As the psalmist looked back and he saw all the things that they went through, as he looked back and reflected, and he looked at where they were at that day, at that time, he just had to say, you know what? If the Lord had not been our side. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have been destroyed. Been overcome. Praise be to the Lord. And Lord, may we all get to that point in our life. Bless Lord, please, I pray. Their heads bowed and eyes closed. You're here this morning. You say, pray to you know what? I, I'm not for sure if I've got Christ in my heart. I don't know. I don't know if I was going to heaven right now or not if I were to die. Anybody like that? Say, if you if I'm I'm not sure, preacher, but would you pray for me? I don't I want to be able to go to heaven when I die, but I'm not sure. Anybody? How about a Christian? Don't let things get you down. When these start getting down and, 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 and start getting overwhelmed, run to, ver, run, run to Psalm 124 and start thinking, where would I be if the Lord were not on my side? Because he's on your side. And guess what? He'll get you through whatever it is that's going on in your life. Just praise him and trust him. So I'll stand the heads bowed and eyes closed.